Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. We are over 1.5k subscribers and we're getting a lot of views on the video so community is here you guys are holding strong and today we're going to talk about the astrolabe and the armillary sphere both of which predate the idea of the earth being heliocentric or basically these inventions that i'm about to show you are said to be created before society even believed that the earth was a globe now the astrolabe is a device um, some of which are as small as fitting into your pocket and these devices they say were created uh, by the romans but then they were significantly advanced by the arabic nations uh, around 800 900 and uh, 1000 a.d and these devices basically can tell you everything you need to know about the environment around you including the time of day the date the month the season and the more advanced ones had even more features that really are unexplainable because this whole device is a series of discs on top of each other and these discs basically rotate and you hold this device up to the skyline or up to the stars and it is so well made and so mechanically perfect that it can tell you precisely all of the information that you need to know about the area around you so in one way to look at it this could be considered to be the first smart device but this isn't some sort of internet artificial intelligent magic giving you the answers you need it's you being smart enough to use this device and to hold it up to the stars and to be able to calculate the answers that you want. So it's very interesting to me that this technology was very developed and they say it stems from the Middle East, but they also go on to postulate that it also advanced in China at the same time, separately from the Middle East. So in two different areas, they say, they were having serious research into astrolabes and devices you could hold up to the stars and get the answers that you wanted. So we've already talked about numerous times the idea of a large vast country called Tartary that could stretch from China to the Middle East, which would tie this sort of technology together. But as far as the narrative goes now, we're told they advance separately from one another. And that brings me to the meat and potatoes of this video, which is the armillary sphere. Now, these are depicted all throughout history, and this is a form of antiquitech or just device that I saw on top of buildings and featured in different artworks that I really never understood. And I always knew that it had some sort of purpose, but I thought it was too complicated for me to understand. Little did I know that researching the astrolabe would lead me to the armillary sphere, which I had no idea that is what these were even called. But this is actually considered to be a 3D rendering of the astrolabe, or basically armillary spheres are 3D depictions of the same information that you can deduce from an astrolabe. So as the narrative goes, both in China and in the Middle East during uh, the Middle Ages, we have these giant armillary spheres that were being built basically everywhere. And mind you, these have to be built for the location that they are in. You can build universal ones, but they're not very accurate. And 90% of these were built for specific areas. So they basically have to be tuned. You can think of these as a craftsmanship most advanced and the mechanical aspects of these devices are far superior to anything else we see at the time now here we even have a depiction off of a sculpture from this time period that depicts an armillary sphere and this is said to be hand carved down to the details which show the inner workings 
of the armillary sphere fully crafted by whoever sculpted this device. It's really remarkable. And we can also look at old world paintings, some of the most famous paintings and artworks in the entire world to have ever existed include these armillary spheres and they're just tucked away in different corners of these paintings if you didn't know what it was you wouldn't know where to look um it's basically different clues that are given throughout history and artworks that lead you to the importance of these lost technologies and devices now furthermore you'll find that these armillary spheres not only were depicted in different paintings, but it said that the kings and queens wanted to be depicted holding a armillary sphere in one hand. And if you know anything about the old paintings of kings and queens, we always see a sphere in their hand. And it's interesting that these could possibly, at least some of them, related to an armillary sphere, which in itself relates to the telling of time and the keeping of time. Now, we're told, as far as mainstream goes, the real mainstream goes, that Copernicus is the one who brought the heliocentric idea to the world. And we're told that before Copernicus, everybody believed the world was flat. But that's simply not true. If you look into books and different novels about astrology and astronomy from the 1800s and before, you'll find that in both China and in the Middle East, they have different astronomers, astrologers, and scientists who were presenting ideas that the sun was the center of the earth. And furthermore, beyond that, you'll also notice many scientific advancements and technological achievements that were discovered in the Middle East are for some reason in history either rewritten or given credit to another group and I just find that to be one of the worst parts about history is that it's always his story. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is how these armillary spheres look exactly like gyroscopes. I mean, exactly like gyroscopes. On another comment I received about the conduit railway system and talking about free energy or very cheap energy systems, uh, someone mentioned gyroscopes. And the further I looked into it, you'll find basically different parts of the gyroscope scattered throughout history, almost. Um, different mechanisms that would lend itself to the gyroscope have been developed all throughout history as different devices. The armillary sphere basically being the outer core. And I just find it to be very interesting how they resemble one another and the impact that that could have on history if we really did find true ties. But I also want to point out the gyroscope powered car that was invented, they say, in 1967, which was quickly shelved and you don't hear about it ever, but there is a gyroscope powered car that was made 50 years ago plus. And I want to finish with discussing the free energy possibilities of these Antiquatech devices. Now, I know from the looks of it right now, it's something that just measures the stars and the date and the cycles of the moon and different things of that nature. But what if this was somehow electrified and powered? Would it resemble a gyroscope? I'll leave that with you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.